AG Squad. Welcome back to my solo. It is in Orphan. So today's episode, we got this cool one right here. And basically what this is, is a platform bed frame. And this from this brand right here. If you guys remember in my previous video, I actually viewed a few other bed frames before. And this is a different type. So I'm actually open up and show you guys what is actually included inside first. All right, so once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. So let's take off all the different parts on here first. So you see inside right here, they provide you guys all the tools and stuff we need to use to actually screw it on. So when you guys open up the Ziploc bag, they provide you guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up. And they provide you guys all the tools. So I really like about the packaging in terms of how to pack it, everything. is the fact that everything is labeled either one, two, three, or in letters. So that way you know how to set it up. But let's move everything to one side, so that way you can set it right here. All right, so we move all the different parts to one side. And this is what we're gonna start with first. So let's take out all the wrappers on here. So what you can do right now is get out a tool and also the S screw. And if you guys have your own power drill, you can use that as well. But I'll show you guys a quick little test for using the tool that they provide for you guys. So what you're gonna do is to put the S screw on both sides. So one right here and one right here. So you probably need around like six of them. So it seems like this is the wrong side, so I'm gonna flip it around to the other side. So you just want to screw it in right here. All right, so that should be good. You want to do the same thing for all of them. But for this test, I'm going to use a power drill so it's much faster. All right, so I have my power drill right here. So make it a lot easier when you guys use the power drill. And once you guys screw it in with the power drill, you have to use this tool to make it a little bit tighter. All right, so I start with the first one. You have to do the same thing for other ones as well. this part, what you're going to do next is to get number 11 and put it on here. So when you guys get number 11, you're going to get this one. You don't want to get the other one that stays number 5 on the side. So what you're going to do is put it in between right here and screw it in on both sides. So two on this side and two on this side. You guys also want to use the S screw. And you want to do the same thing for the other side before you tighten it up. So now you don't need to add a step to kind of tighten it up. Alright, so we're done with that part. Alright, so once you guys finish setting up this part, you're going to flip it around. And we're just going to lean this against the wall for now, so we're not going to do anything with this yet. And what we're going to do next is to set up the actual bottom of the base. So we're going to take out this part, and this part, and this part out. All right, so once you guys take it out, you're going to flip this part around. And you want to get the S screws to actually screw it in together. And when you guys screw in the bottom part, you don't want to get too tight yet. Because if you guys make it too tight, then you guys can not put the other side on. All right, so once you guys finish that part, you're going to work on the bottom part of the legs. So when you guys set it up, you have to make sure the bottom part fits the correct right number. So this side is 7, and that side is 6. So when you guys set up the leg, you guys want to unscrew it a little bit so that we can fit it into the hole. And then once you guys do that, you guys want to screw it back in a little bit tighter. Alright, so once you guys finish that stuff, you guys to screw it in the bottom. So I just flipped it to the other side, so that way it's much easier when I do set it up, especially if you guys are doing it by yourself. So same thing for this side, you guys want to loosen it up a little bit. And then I'll put this in. And we're screwing this part right here first before we actually tighten up the bottom part. Alright, so once you guys got this part in, you have to screw it to the other side. Alright, so once you guys set the bottom part, you have to flip it back around the other side and then connect it to the frame in the back or the front. But this time you guys are going to be using the M screw. So you guys want to put two here and two here. All right, and you're going to tighten it up. All right, so once you guys do that, you want to set up the middle part right here. So you basically want to set this up in the middle. But before you guys do that, you want to set up the bottom part. So let's get the L screw to screw this part into this part. 
Okay, so once you guys do that, go ahead and set the middle part using the S screws. So you're gonna put two on this side and two on this side. So same thing applies to right here when you guys set it up. You don't make it too tight yet. All right, so once you guys have all the ends, then you guys can tighten it up. So once you guys finish setting that up, then you don't put the wood on top. So the cool thing about the way how to design the wood right here is very similar to the other one that I tested in the past, where they actually have the vocal design on the bottom, so that way you can just stick it on really easily. So what you're going to do is cut open this part right here. You just want to open it up. If you want to peel off this part later on to actually help you guys stick on the bed or your mattress when you guys do put it on. So that is the first half. You're going to do the same thing for the second half. So this is basically what the part looks like once you guys do fully set it up. So once you guys fully set it up, what you're going to do is take off the actual tape with a non-step tape. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's better if you guys do. So that way when you guys do set the mattress, it won't move around. So let's take it out. So once you guys fully set up, then you put the mattress on top. So I'm going to put the mattress on top to show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so once you guys set the mattress on top, this is basically what the bottom looks like. So when you guys try to lift it up, you guys can hear the non-stick material in the bottom. But when you guys try to move it around, there's no like squeaky noise or anything which is really nice. Let me try to hop on to show you guys what the bottom looks like in terms of stability and everything. Alright. So the noise that you're hearing on there is just a Velcro or a nice material, but everything about the bed frame and everything works pretty well. The whole setup process took me roughly around one hour to fully set it up, but it shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes to set it up if you guys follow all the instructions correctly. But this is basically what the product looks like once you guys do fully set it up. You can see it definitely looks and feels pretty nice once you guys do set it up. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and test the product. Now the end question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this best frame, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality bed frame that doesn't take that long to fully set it up. It also has everything that's on here in terms of the headrest and also like the non slip material on the actual wood. And also if you guys like the design of the product in terms of how you guys set it up at each different part, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.